Not that kind of Christian here. My usual critique on stuff from Father Brett Murphy. I think what I'll do is I'll introduce the clips to you first and I'll critique them afterwards. They are more or less in order. So I'll get on with that now. Much appreciate that. And you can do so by clicking on the links that are for my Patreon, which enables you to give a monthly donation, and also for the Buy Me A Coffee, which is a fun way to donate a one-off amount of money to help me and my family get by. Uh, I cannot guarantee that it will always be coffee that I drink. Uh, sometimes it will be a pint. <laughs> but it is a sincere thank you from us, and it comes with great blessings from me to you for the continued support of this YouTube Gender community. Gender dysphoria is a mental health issue. Those, those conservative Christian views are okay, they said, under the Equality Act. They must be uh, protected. But the tribunal also ruled, the judge ruled, you cannot express them in the workplace. Really religious freedom. How is that in any way? <clears throat> Seems like it is to me. To do in this country, and I'm sure it's the same in America and Australia and other Western countries, is go back to a time when you were allowed to have beliefs that offended other people. You're not going out intentionally to be hurtful, to be harmful, to be rude or divisive. But if you happen to sincerely hold to religious convictions that other people find offensive, that's fine. They need to build a bridge and get over it. There are plenty of things that are offensive to us Christians. We have more news about Christian persecution. This time, uh, it's a little bit of good news. There was a nurse in Haiti, a Christian lady who works for a charity. Her husband is the um, chair of the charity. They work to alleviate suffering amongst the poor in the Caribbean island nation, which is absolutely infamous for its gang violence and incredibly high murder rate. And her name is Alex. Now, forgive me if I get this wrong. I think it's Dor Sanville. And her daughter were both held captive for as yet undisclosed reasons two weeks ago, and the Christian charity her husband runs uh, put out an appeal for prayer, and people around the globe, me included, have been praying for the release of this sister in Christ and their child. Um, and they've been asking for a constant wave of in intercession. I believe that the Lord has graciously answered that, because this lady has been released. <laughs> context this is mainly about a christian doctor who was uh, working for the department of health and was uh, sacked because apparently he held certain christian views on trans people anyway the first one to debunk is the one that you just heard a moment ago brett is harping on there and telling us that gender dysphoria is a mental health issue uh, very much like medics were telling us that being gay or in the old-fashioned terms homosexual was a mental health issue there was something wrong with you no gender dysphoria is not a mental health issue with regards to my understanding of the science and the medicine and everything behind it. It is a fact that some people who are transgender have existing mental health issues or conditions, but it is not a diagnosed illness. And I really do wish that Father Brett would stop preaching stuff that is wrong Oh, and his freedom to choose one. For crying out loud, what he's trying to imply there is that, oh, we should all be able to believe up here and have views up here that we actually want and all that lot, yeah? Because otherwise that would make it like um, thought crime, wouldn't, wouldn't it? But we should still be okay to robustly uh, uh, actually express those views at work, in the workplace, around us. So he thinks that it should be perfectly okay for me to hold 
for example, a view that um, black people are inferior to white people and anywhere, anywhere at all, only because it's a view that I hold, I could go around and express that in public. Oh, boy, this is the kind of man you're dealing with. Hence the uh, bit of love of right-wing Christian fundamentalism. There's more stuff, but honestly, I'll just leave it at that, or this video will go on. There you go, Father Brett. Hmm. Don't think you are very uh, fond or even loving towards people who are just trans.